and then you keep wasting money if you can't afford the money if you cannot afford to buy very high-end bags go for things like this very classy very easy very timeless they they last forever they last for a very long time Thank you guys thank you thank you welcome if this is your first time my name is Katia Valino I am a lifestyle and beauty blogger or beauty youtuber welcome so much so, so if you just stumble into this channel for the first time do me a favor click that red button subscribe and also when you subscribe turn on the notification bell so voila yes i am doing this video based on a special request and um somebody really wanted me to talk about handbags that from low to mid end handbags that are very classy and uh that you can use forever for, that you can use for a long time so I looked over my entire closet and I was able to find some bags that I consider to be mid and like not too cheap and not overly expensive like when you talk about thousands of dollars in handbags like I won't call the names but as, as time goes on I will also be doing some videos about my most high-end handbag so today without further ado we're going to be starting with some of my some of the bags that i have in my closet that ranges from maybe hundred dollars and this is what i consider low to mid this is me i don't know what you might consider mid low to <laughs> medium so without further ado we're going to be starting with this amazing faller f-u-r-l-a faller this bag here i have for the past 15 years it's beautiful it's crocodile skin crocodile skin this handbag was purchased about 15 years ago for so this faller bag is so awesome for 15 years back i think it was between 500 to 700 dollars this i consider medium not excessively too high so i have had this handbag like i like i said for over 15 years and in 15 years maybe i have used this bag maybe three or four times i love this because it's it's very medium it's not too big and it's not too small i consider the size to be just moderate for evening yes so let me see what is in the inside. Oh, I think the receipt is here. Is this the receipt? Let me see. No, this is not the receipt. Fuller store used to be in Canada, in Toronto. I think they moved back to Europe. I believe it's, it's an European designer faller amazing beautiful you can never go wrong and you know what i like about this bag it's not like a uniform bag where you see everybody carrying this faller bag this particular design and i think that this design is coming back again to life i love it i love it i love it at the end i will share with you guys how i take care of my leather bag the next one here this bag here has been i had this bag i believe for over 10 years as well or more than 10 years this bag is bcbg bcbg bag so this bag was bcbg bag this bag is bcbg bag it's one of the trends that used to be out there i think they just closed their stores I don't know if they closed these stores worldwide or just in Canada. They just closed their business last year before pandemics. This bag, I think, is about two hundred dollars 
or $175. Nadine Akubeze helped me identify the price of this. I don't remember, but it's very cute. It's very, uh, it's, the style is, the style is very antique. It's very antique style and I love the leather here. It's very unique. Again, it's not a handbag that you see so many people hanging out. Like when you go to party or go to events, you see so many people with this handbag. I love it. It's so, 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 so soft. Like you can fall asleep on this handbag. Beautiful. Another bag that I really, really love so much. I know that a lot of people don't like coach bags. I had quite a lot of coach bags, but this is one of the ones that I love to keep. I love, 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 love to keep these just because of their sling. It's, it's chunky in the middle here, and this bag is really heavy. I love it. It's one of my coach bags that I want to keep. I want to keep as long as I exist. I love this coach purse. It's any time, any day. This coach purse, I think is under 100, it's about under $200. Coach is not that very expensive. And uh, yeah, I'll reserve my comment for the last, the things I wanna talk to people out there as well. So this coach is simple. Yes, you see so many people carrying coach with the signature with the signature styles on them but this particular style here is something that you don't see very much often coach i love this particular design and I, there's something with me and tan not too recent very recently i started adding some colors on in my closet i used to be a very tan black and white lady so Coach, you can't go wrong with that. Amazing purse that I like. This is like my everyday, everyday bag. The inside is red. This handbag is from Zara. I think I got this about four years ago. I love this bag because it serves as an everyday yet very classy bag. Whenever I have this bag, people think that this is Kristen Louboutin. No, it's not Kristen Louboutin, it's Zara. This bag is under $100. I did not pay much for this. And what I like about this, when I say it's an everyday bag, it can contain my laptop. I can still put my laptop and put my wallet in this bag. Let's try. So this is my laptop in here, it's gone. Just inside the handbag, you don't need to carry extra handbag for your laptop. And then I still have space here for my wallet, for my, for my wallet, for other things that goes in my makeup bag and other things. I still have the room for this. So this bag is so cute for under $100 from Zara's from Zara. I love it. So, the next one is this bag. Who doesn't have this bag? Who does not have this bag? This is Zara bag. I think again from maybe seven years ago, this Zara bag was so trendy and most other companies also came up with this design and they also have the smaller one. I love this big one and I love this as kind of everyday bag as well because it will also and it also have an extra pouch on the inside. Why I like what I like about this bag is I can travel with this bag just as a hand luggage. This bag serves a lot. So what I usually do when I travel with this as hand luggage is I put everything I need in here. My passport, my makeup bag, my wallet, and everything. And I dunk it on one side. And I also, also I have my laptop which sits beautifully in this bag. So this is all you need as a hand luggage. It contains a whole bunch of stuff. It is an everyday bag. It's inexpensive. This bag is again less than $150 about seven years ago 
from Zara. I don't remember if it's $75 or $125. It's very authentic. So you can never go wrong shopping from Zara. So Zara, Zara you better be paying me some money for promoting your business and for promoting you. Again, again and again, amazing shoulder bag. Baby blue shoulder bag. Very roomy, but contain a whole lot of stuff, including a small, including my laptop. I love it. And also, this is from Zara. So, the, I don't know. Can you see that? Yeah, this is another Zara shoulder bag. You can never go wrong with Zara. Zara is very inexpensive, very affordable, very authentic, very timeless, very classy. Again, I think I paid $50 for this bag about three years ago. I love it. I love it. it this is also one of my everyday bag yeah moving on. so i also recommend for the to the person that sent me this email and suggested this video she was asking me about buying some knockoff designers what i really think you should do if you cannot afford the real deal of buying the real designer buy like zara go to nema marcos go to when you go there you will see some of the brand that are not very top high designs uh, whenever you bring it out people will say wow wow where did you buy this bag from stay away from knockoff instead of buying knockoff just go to uh, wear a 50 dollar bag because you know what one thing people don't realize is that the more you buy knockoff the more money you spend because that knockoff you can only use it for a couple of times and then by two three years you are shopping again for more knock off and then you keep wasting money especially when you know how to store them and take care of them and this is what i use where is it so so this is what i use to take care of my leather cleaning my leather bags and most of my leather jackets this is a polish from coach i purchased this from coach long time ago if you can't get hold of this or any of the leather polishes just use lemon i made a video before on how to take care of your leather stuff just use lemon and olive oil squeeze it in together use dry cloth and wipe everything i will find the video and link it in the first comment box so all you need to do after you finish using your bag just squirt a little bit of this polish and wipe it down wipe your bag down always always if you value what you have you must take care of them so this is So this is some of my low to meat and bags. Yeah, I have quite a lot of them, but I chose to pick only these five so that we can keep this video snappy and as well. And you guys can also enjoy the video. I will leave you guys here. Probably in the next video, we'll be talking about some high end bags that I have that has been in my closet between 15 years to 30 years yes handbags authentic designers bags we're gonna talk about it so if you want to know more about those and how to take care of what you have and how you can shop and look like a millionaire on a dime subscribe here stay on this channel turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos however every night so however Three times a week. Yeah, I'm going to be cutting it down to three times a week. 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We do a show every night live that we call Midnight Freak. Where we talk about, we are rounding down. We are coming down to, to episode. I think we are going to be doing episode 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. After that, 
after speaking about the sleep we're gonna get into another topic that we're going to be talking at midnight as well so the show will be going on Wednesday 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 Friday and Sunday three times a week for that show so subscribe and share the video bye see you guys in my next video bye